Good day everyone. So our lesson for today is mathematical statements. Okay, so for today's lesson, our lesson objectives are at the end of this lesson, you should be able to first is to classify mathematical statements through illustrative examples and to construct mathematical statements. Okay, so let's now proceed. So what is mathematical statement? So, a mathematical statement, it is a sentence which is either true or false. It may contain words and symbols. Okay, so let's have uh, some examples. Okay, so all positive numbers are greater than 0, which is true. The square root of 4 is 5, which, is, which indicates a false statement. And then, if 378 is divided by 18, then 378 is divisible by 6, which is also true. Another example, there is a prime number that is even, which is also true. So, a prime number that is even, that is only 2. Okay, so let's proceed. So, there are three important kinds of mathematical statements. First is the universal statement, second is the conditional statement, and then the third one is the existential statement. Okay, so let us first deal with universal statement. So what is a universal statement? A universal statement says that a certain property is true for all elements in a set. Okay, so let us take a look back on our examples a while ago. So which of the following examples you think may be an example of a universal statement okay so let us have this so okay so number three example number three is considered as a universal statement okay so all positive numbers are greater than zero okay so if you are going to look back on our definition of universal statement a universal statement says that a certain property is true for all elements in a set Okay, so in this example, all positive numbers are greater than 0, which is true for all positive numbers. Okay, so that is a universal statement. It means a certain property should be true to all the elements that is given on a certain set. Okay, so let us have the next one, which is the conditional statement. So a conditional statement says that if one thing is true, then some other thing also has to be true for example okay so we all we already have example number three as the universal statement as an example of universal statement so which of the three other examples you think may be an example of a conditional statement okay so let us have this one so that is number four so when we say conditional so it usually involves the word if and then okay so it is also called as, as an if if then statement so if 378 is divided by 18 then 378 is divisible by 6 okay so 378 is divided by 18 then 378 is divisible by 6 so, it is an if-then example, if-then statement. So, that is an example of a conditional statement. So, the next one is the existential statement. So, what is what do we mean by existential statement? So, it is an existential, an existen existential statement says that there is at least one thing for which the property is true. Okay, so for example, so we already have examples number 3 and 4 as uh universal and conditional statement so which of the other two do you think will be an example of a of an existential statement okay so let us have number one so there is a prime number that is even okay so there are uh, many prime numbers for example is two three five seven uh eleven thirteen seventeen and so on and so forth when we, when we say prime numbers, those are numbers that can only be divided by 1 and itself. So, okay, so the only prime number that is even is 2. Okay, so the property of prime number is only 
that is even is only true for the number 2. Okay, so that is an example of an existential statement. Okay, so those are the different examples of universal, conditional, and existential statement. But how about number 2? So the square root of 4 is 5. Okay, so uh, a while ago, so we already defined a mathematical statement that is a statement or a sentence which can be either true or false. So number 2 is a false statement because the square root of 4 should be 2, not 5. Okay, so that is a false statement. Okay, so let us have more examples. So when we say statements, it can it cannot be uh, only deal with uh, mathematical statements. We can also have different statements or different sentences. For example, all birds have wings, which is true. Okay, true to all birds. So which is uh, telling us that this statement is an example of universal statement. Okay, so the next, let us have the next example. If your feet smell and your nose runs, then you're built upside down. Okay, so again, this is an if-then if then statement. So it is an example of a conditional statement. Okay, number three, there is a color that is formed by mixing blue and yellow. Okay, so with, which is only true for the shade of green okay so therefore this statement is considered will be considered as an existential statement okay so as you can see so on our uh, set of examples when the statement is considered as universal statement it usually involves the word all okay all birds have wings so we have there the word all Okay, so when it is a conditional statement, so as I said earlier, so it is an example of if-then statement. So while existential statement usually involve there is. Okay, so there is. Those are the clue words in order for us to uh, identify the uh, type of statement that is exhibited by different sentences. Okay. So, for your assignment, okay, so you are going to write or give three universal statements, three conditional statements, and three existential statements. Okay, so worksheet will be uh, posted on our Google Classroom. Okay, so before we end this video, so let me give you this uh, quotation. Mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about understanding. Okay, so just like mathematical statement, we cannot understand this so-called numbers, equations, computations, or algorithm if we do not understand its uh, wording, its statements. So it is, so mathematical should be involved or should be about understanding. So this is according to William Paul Thurston. Okay, so that would be all for today. So thank you for listening and watching. So the next video will be available on our uh, Okay, so if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, and recommendations, so kindly send me a private message on our on uh, on my Facebook Messenger account. So that would be all. Thank you and goodbye.